Hello everyone and welcome to Study IQ English. I am Joy C. Joy and today we will be discussing about demand for grants. Let's get started. Let us first understand what is the concept of demand for grants. The idea of demand for grants or the demand for grants is actually presented along with the annual financial statement or the budget. So the statement of uh, demand for grants or the request for demand for grants is presented along with the annual financial statement or the budget. And what is the idea behind it? We know that there are three basic funds for India, for, for the government of India. They are Consolidated Fund of India, Contingency Fund of India, and Public Accounts of India. So there are basically three kind of funds. And the most important one is the Consolidated Fund of India. All the expenditures of the government is incurred from the Consolidated Fund of India and all the revenue of the government goes into the Consolidated Fund of India. Now, Consolidated Fund of India, out of which when the expenditures are made, there are two kinds of expenditures. One is charged expenditure and second one is voted expenditure. Charged expenditure means those expenditures which are incurred from the Consolidated Fund of India but that does not need the approval of the parliament or that does not need the vote of the parliament. Those kind of funds are known as charged expenditure. Those expenditures are termed as charged expenditure. For example, the salary of the president, the salary of the CGI chief justice of India etc. So these are expenditures which are charged upon the consolidated fund of India for which the parliament approval is not required. Now all the expenditures other than the charged expenditures are known as voted expenditure. And what is voted expenditure? A voted expenditure means those expenditures for which vote of the parliament is important to be withdrawn from the consolidated fund of India. That is any expenditure other than the charged expenditure needs the approval and voting of the parliament in order to withdraw the money to meet that particular expenditure. So how does the government ask the permission of the parliament or how does the uh, government put this uh, expenditure which needs a vote before the parliament that is known as demand for grants. So demand for grants is basically the request put by the government before the parliament in order to get the approval of the parliament for the voted expenditure to be withdrawn from the consolidated fund of India. So demand for grants is basically for the expenditure other than the charged expenditure which is called the voted expenditure from the consolidated fund of India and this comes in the form of demand for grants and it should be submitted to the lower house. The lower house of the parliament is the Lok Sabha and this demand for grants can be submitted only on the recommendation of the president of India according to article 113 of the constitution. Every ministry proposes demand for grants because every ministry will have its own demand or its own expenditure. So this has to be met. Therefore, each ministry proposes the demand for grants. The number of demand for each ministry, usually one, but huge ministry like defense, finance, etc. They will have more than one demand. Now let's come to the powers of Lok Sabha with regard to demand for grants. Under Article 112 of the Constitution, it is mandatory that any proposal or estimate wanted withdrawal of money from consolidated fund should be presented in as a motion in Lok Sabha for demand for uh, grants. So, uh, demand for grants is a motion presented in the Lok Sabha for withdrawing money from the consolidated fund of India. But as we said, there are two types of fund or expenditure that are withdrawn from the Consolidated Fund of India. The first one is charged expenditure for which the parliament does not vote. But the constitution does not prohibit discussion on these expenditure but voting is not allowed by the constitution. Now with regard to uh, demand for grants, the Lok Sabha can either approve it, refuse it or reduce the amount and now while reducing the amount there are three types of motion by which the amount can be reduced one is policy cut motion 
that is reduce the amount by rupees 1 that is this is a nil amount or 1 rupee is very much negligible so which means that the policy needs to be ch changed the parliament wants the policy to be changed second one is economic cut motion economic cut means to rationalize the motion or the expenditure that is to cut the amount of money that has been proposed to reduce the expenditure third is token cut token cut is the disapproval by the parliament it may lead to the resignation of the government coming to the preparation of demand for grants each demand for grant is prepared in two ways it clearly distinguishes charged expenditure and voted expenditure so a clear distinction of charged expenditure and voted expenditure needs to be made why because charged expenditure does not require the voting or the approval of the parliament and it includes total provision required for the schemes revenue and capital expenditure loans and advances related to the scheme so the demand for grants it should contain the total provision required for the scheme that is how much total money is required for implementing a scheme both the revenue expenditure and the capital expenditure needed to implement the scheme that is both the revenue as well as capital expenditure required total provision needs to be provided and if there are any loans and advances or any borrowings related to that scheme if any money needs to be borrowed for implementing the scheme etc that also needs to be mentioned now apart from that there are other grants additional grants additional grants uh, is granted due to new demand or uh, any new need arises then additional grant can be provided supplementary grant that is the excess amount which is granted above the required amount or the granted amount then vote of credit vote of credit is to meet the unexpected demand exceptional grant is for a special purpose and token grant here there is no additional expenditure only transfer of excess fund so these are the other type of grants so this is about uh, demand for grants in very brief first thing you need to understand is demand for grants is a part of the budget documents which is presented in uh, in the parliament along with the annual financial statement and it is mandated by the constitution and demand of demand for grants are mandatory to be presented according to the constitution third point is that any amount to be withdrawn from the consolidated fund of india needs the approval of the parliament and there are two type of expenditures that can incur from the consolidated fund of india one is charged expenditure second one is voted expenditure for charged expenditure there is no need of parliament approval or voting but discussion is possible whereas in case of voted expenditure it's very important that the parliament votes and approves it otherwise fund cannot be withdrawn and it's presented in the lower house or in the lok sabha with the prior approval of the president so that's it about the demand for grants thank you so much for watching wishing you all the very best